Pearson and Lincoln Allen, son of Tyler and Lauren Winter, to our Holy Trinity family. Good morning. The friends and families of Holy Trinity Catholic Parish, thank you for joining us today for the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. The Holy Sacrifice of the Mass can be viewed via live stream on the fa parish's Facebook page and heard each Sunday on KVFD 1400 at 8.30 a.m. Welcome to the celebration of the Mass of the sixth Sunday of Easter. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We welcome all of our friends and relatives, those who traveled afar, especially on this Mother's Day weekend, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries we call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Oh. 
Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him, and falling to his feet, paid him homage. Peter, however, raised him up, saying, Get up! I myself am also a human being. Then Peter proceeded to speak and said, In truth, I see God, that God shows us no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him, and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should be poured out on the Gentiles also. For they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit, even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. 
Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent us his son in expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to the Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name may be given you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. With Mother's Day weekend, maybe some of you guys are camping and uh, after the rain decided to call it quits. But before you did so, you lit a fire. You had your s'mores ready. I mean, like, what are, what are s'mores again, kids? They're the marshmallows, the chocolate, the graham crackers. Anything else? I, I don't know. Maybe you could add something. But anyway, you got it all ready. You found your sticks. You whittled them down to get a point. And you're roasting your marshmallows. And you're like, Dad, Mom, we need another log on the fire. It's not big enough. So they put another log on the fire. Well, kids, what happens to that log? What, is it, what does it become? Well, it becomes fire, doesn't it? It's a flame. When you put a log into a, an already existing fire, it, it changes. It gets transformed into fire. Now, sometimes the log might be a little wet or damp, and so then has to heat up, dry out as it's in the fire. It smokes, and then whooshed fire. 
But that's pretty cool, isn't it? I, we could do a science lesson on that. The transformation in fire. But it's similar. Jesus says, remain in my love. And if you're going to remain in my love, then you need to follow my commandment. And my commandment is what? Is to love. Because when we re reside, when we remain in Jesus, we become like Jesus. We're lit on fire with his love. Yeah, yeah, I follow Jesus. I'm Christian. I'm Catholic. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you don't love? Well, that's like the log being right next to the fire, but not in the fire. <laughs> Might as well sit on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but put it in the fire. As a Catholic, we're supposed to be friends with Jesus. That what's important to him is important to us. And what do friends do? They share something in common. You know, it might be going out to the range and shooting rifles. You know, it might be farming. It might be shopping. It might be sports. It might be, hey, we have kids in the same grade. We have something in common. And based off that commonality, the friendship develops. But our friendship with Jesus, what do we hold in common? Oh, well, yeah, of course, we're human. And most of us like to eat and maybe drink wine. I imagine Jesus drank wine because he changed like hundreds of gallons of water into wine, right, Deacon Dan? He's preached on that a couple times. But what is at the heart of our friendship with Jesus? Well, Jesus said, I call you friends because I've told you everything I've heard from my Father. As the Father loves me, so I love you is that our friendship with Jesus holds in common the love of God. This great outpouring. There's no greater love than for one to lay down their life for their friends. I think you could probably think right now of people in your life or people you've read about who've done that. And one of them's imaged right in front of us. See, Jesus tells us about love and what it means to be his friend because he wants us to be happy. Who in here does not want to be happy? I mean, come on. We all may have different definitions of happiness, but we want to be happy, right? So Jesus says, I have told you this, that my joy may be in you and your joy might be complete. What is his joy? To give himself away to lose himself as a gift to others. That's his joy. That's a divine joy. If you don't want to love, if I don't want to love, then we probably don't want to go to heaven. Because <laughs> heaven is a place of divine love that's filled with joy. And that's what Jesus wants us to have here. The joy of self-forgetfulness, focusing on others, giving ourselves away. This is an important point. Jesus says, now this is the basis of our morality. Okay? Um, a lot of times we go through our morality as Christians and we go through the Ten Commandments and we're like, oh, I agree with that, I agree with that. Ah, oh, this one's kind of hard. I think the church needs to update itself. Okay. But let's go back to this right here. What does Jesus say? Love one another as I love you. Our morality as Catholics is very personal. It's based off a person, Jesus Christ. So I have a question for us. Since we're called to love each other, as Jesus loves us, how does Jesus love you? In what way does Jesus love you? If someone were to ask you, does Jesus love you, and you say yes, and then they say, well, tell me about it, what comes to mind? What might you say? 
Because our whole morality is focused on and a response to Jesus' love for us. And so if we want to get B, C, D right, we need to figure out A. How does Jesus love us? Maybe one example could be you find yourself face down on the floor, shivering in a dark place, your gut wrenched with anxiety. You have an experience of being utterly alone, the lowest part of your life you're in. You felt like there's no other way that failure is all upon you. There's no way forward. And you open your eye and you see Jesus right next to you. On the floor, in the dark, isolated, with you. And he says, I'm with you. I see you. I love you. And I'm going to pick you up. And I'm going to lift you to my Father and give you his life. And he gives us his life. <laughs> really gives us his life. Love one another as I love you. The rest of the homily doesn't matter. We'll just stop there. We'll stop with Jesus. And right now at this altar, he's going to become present in his gift, the living Christ offered for us. And we're going to receive him. Will you be like that log that's transformed in the fire of divine love? Together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. to come. Amen. Amen. Trusting in the Father's steadfast love, let us offer him our prayers this day. For the church, may she through the grace of the Holy Spirit continue to grow in holiness and fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. 
For public servants, may Christ's commandment of love be their daily guide and source of their strength. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who feel lost or alone, may the Lord provide a community of faith to come alongside them as witnesses of his love. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who recently joined the church, may the new life that they experience in Christ continue to bring them joy throughout this Easter season. Let us pray to the Lord. For adequate rain, we pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, especially Vera Serwick, may their joy be complete as they behold God's face in heaven and sing praise with the angels and saints forever. And for the intentions of this Mass, Betty Pudence, Amelia Lenz, Leanne Gillespie, and Carol Zobick, John Condon, Karen Reeder, David Condon, our parish family, let us pray to the Lord. For those prayers now that we all hold silently in our own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And together we offer our parish vocations prayer. God, our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people off of their lives in service to you. Let them hear your Spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious, as we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offering, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The history of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that, by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O God, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope and Walker our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, 
Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, and with us all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So as it is Mother's Day, we wish all of our mothers a, a happy day and we honor your vocation um, as life bringers, as nurturers, as parents. Um, and we're honored that you're here and those on the live stream, we also remember our moms who, who have passed on from this life and we're grateful for their example. And the gift of motherhood um, is not easy all the time, so I'm sure you'd like another blessing, right? <laughs> um, but that's what we have today, is a blessing for all, our, all of our moms um, from the love of the church. So please, uh, moms, bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Loving God, as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so you watch over your church. Bless these women, that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us thank all of our mothers and honor them right now. And as you leave today, the Knights of Columbus are giving out chocolates um, in honor of Mother's Day. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Spirit.